Here with second year Northwestern State Volleyball coach Sean Kirikoff as the Lady Demons prepare to head on a little Texas two-step. Sam Houston on Thursday, Stephen F. on Saturday. Coach, uh, back on the road, you were at home for a, a, a real quick trip. Yep. Uh, now it's back to, uh, to your old stomping grounds in the state of Texas. And as always, very big when you have a roster loaded with Texans to go get wins over there for several reasons, not just conference yeah. play. Yeah, no, they like going back to play there. Um, they're playing against, you know, uh, you know, other players that they've played against in club and high school. And so there's good rivalries, personal rivalries there, and it's closer to family, so they get to come and we get a good crowd, so that's always good. Something that I know you guys have built off of on Prather there has been good crowd support, and mm -hmm. it's been that same way previous stops in Texas. I know, I think at Houston Baptist, you had a lot of people. It has. We've, we've had a nice, we've had a full pass list and a, a good uh, a good fan base. Well, you've got uh, a pretty resilient squad that's bounced back several times this year. And going to have to do it again after a tough mm -hmm. one Saturday against Southeastern. This team has shown its ability to do that. What makes you confident they can do it again? Um, just that past experience throughout the year. Um, every time we've called on them to be able to make that kind of a turnaround, you know, after a loss or just a difficult situation that they put themselves in, they've been able to do that. Um, you know, this time around, though, it comes against two, uh, you know, great opponents in Sam Houston and SFA, so it's going to be a tougher task. Does that surprise you, given the youth on this team, that they're able to kind of shake back and have a short memory yeah um, but you know you never know how it's going to turn out but I thought I saw that in the freshman coming in so a little bit of you know resiliency and just level-headedness with them and competitive fire as well um, and then having the returners that we have this year um, and getting to work with them in the spring and kind of I don't know give them uh, the ability to kind of approach tough situations and have some confidence has been a, a big help. You look at a Sam Houston team that has a couple of juniors that sit very high in the conference and mm -hmm. kills per set. That's a tough one to start a road trip with. What do you see from the Bearcats? Um, it's hard to know what we're going to see from them. Um, last week, from what I'm told, they were ravaged by the flu. So, uh, you know, our scout video against them is going to be a little altered from what it would be, you know, earlier or if they were at full strength. Um, so we're going to have to go back and we're going to watch their one match from the week um, and then go back and look at some older video as well and try to get a good idea of what they're doing right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're always tough. Um, you know, they run just a little bit of a different offense, so it's a little bit different pace and um, look that you're used to. And so that's always something that you've got to adjust to. Um, Luckily for us, there are some similarities to Southeastern um, with Sam, uh, what they're doing offensively. So um, hopefully that helps us going into Thursday. Is it a quicker offense or a slower offense? Or? It's, I mean, it's hard to explain. Yeah. It's a little of both. Um, there's some different first tempo sets that you see, and then there's some more second tempo sets and just kind of layers and crossing. And, uh, you know, it's just a different look. You know, test your ability to prepare. Absolutely. And then you turn and look towards Stephen F. Austin, and obviously a big rivalry across all mm -hmm. sports and the good thing is you get both of these teams at home again at the end of the season but when you look at the Lady Jacks it's been a they've set a pretty high standard up until Corpus has kind of taken the, the torch mm -hmm. from them but for the past few seasons a very tough team with a very experienced head coach. Yeah tons of talent um, very experienced um, they've had a great season so far in conference except for the Corpus match that you said um, but then they were recently upset by Abilene Christian so I mean they've got some weaknesses um, and I'll say I'll admit that last year we probably started looking at them a little bit earlier than we have this year just you know we had them at home first uh, my first time within the rivalry so I wanted to be extra prepared to go into that and things turned out well for us there um, but this year you know, it's been a different year, uh, much more successful overall. Um, and we really are approaching SFA, you know, a little bit more of a regular workflow than, you know, I may have last year. When you look at them, they've, you know, you talk about maybe a football team has good players at each level, and it certainly looks like with Justice Walker in the middle and then Lexus Kane as a libero, they mm -hmm. kind of have that. If it's just two layers, front line, back line, they've got two of the better ones in the conference. They have a lot of depth. They've always had a lot of depth, and that just comes from being successful and a lot of talented players that want to go there. So um, it, you can't just key on one person or one area of the game against them. You've really got to you know, perform and execute in every area. And when you look at your own, you've got some players that have turned on milestone-type seasons already, Channing Burleson in the top ten in Dick's uh, first single season, Natalie Yeager approaching a top ten season for uh, assists as a setter. 
in addition to the team success, it has to be a good feeling to see your individuals putting up numbers like that. Yeah, very happy for Natalie, you know, and she would have had bigger numbers had she not played in a 6-2 um, earlier on in her career. Um, but she's made it a great adjustment um, to being a 5-1 setter. And, you know, that happened halfway through last season. And there were some ups and downs with that, but has been great for us this year. And then Channing has really stepped up in a new role in libero and has been solid for us, you know, every single match. We talk about her every week to Alexis Warren. You keep uh, putting a lot on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. And she really delivered a career-high 22 kills against Southeastern on Saturday. Yeah, she had a great match. Um, and, again, you know, as it – it's more impressive that she has still had her ups and downs that every freshman is gonna have. And then to still be able to look back and see those numbers that she's been able to put up are very impressive. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.